All right, and we got to graph this equation, 2x plus y, greater than or equal to 2. That's good right now. We know this is going to be a solid line because that's also equal to. Uh, let's see, this one. Yeah, this one will work for if we choose two points, all right? So if this is my x and y's, we can use the two intercepts for this. So if x is 0, then I have 2 times 0, plus y should equal 2. This is for the line, so we're looking for equality. Well, this just cancels out, and we get y is 2. So that's our first point, 0, 2, right here. And we only really need two points anyways. So now we've got 2x plus 0 is equal to 2. Well, we don't even need the plus 0. We'll just divide both sides by 2, and that gives us x is 1. So the x is 1 there, and we got 1, 0 right here. That allows us to graph the line through these points. If I could hit these a little bit better. That'll work. This is a solid line like we talked about. Let's go ahead and test then the origin. So test. It's got to be a point not on the line, by the way. So we got 2 times 0 plus 0. Is this greater than or equal to 2? Well, 0 greater than or equal to 2? That's false. Since this is false, We'll have to graph or shade in the other side. Oh, man. And it's a dotted line? Uh, this one will be a solid line because it's also equal to. Study that. So what's the alternative? So the alternative would have been for you guys to take this 2x plus y. Yeah, and just change it to slope-intercept form. And this one would have been pretty easy. Just subtract 2x from both sides. You just wanted to throw something else in there? Well, just uh, some people prefer that method. Oh, okay. So y is greater than or equal to, you could say, negative 2x plus 2. You just do the x and y intercept, right? That's all I did. In the table? Yep. Because the thing is, is if one of these two were fractions that we found, then I know that I would have had to change that to slope intercept form. Oh, so I, I would need the slope to find the second point. Because if you don't, then what's going to happen is you're going to keep trying other points until you find whole values to graph. And that may not fit on the, this graph specifically. I mean, you could use, you may have found one of these other points there. There were five points that fit on the graph. 